Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. I'm Sarah Lane, and I've got a case named after a flightless bird. <laughs> and I'm Leo Laporte, and I'm going to give you a strategy guide for We Rule, plus lots of great apps and more. It's time for iPad Today. <music> Episode one of iPad Today, Leo Laporte and Sarah Lane. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Leo. Do you want to tell everybody what this show is all about? Yeah, I do. I really do. So iPad Today is a show all about iPads. We've, well, that was easy. Yeah, I know. It's, it's kind it's of a pretty, short answer. It's a pretty simple <laughs> premise, actually. We, we thought about it for a while. We've both got iPads. In yeah. fact, pretty much everybody at the office does now, along yeah. with a lot of other folks. My 80-year-old father-in-law, my wife, whose na age shall remain nameless, <laughs> uh, my 70-something-year-old mom, Mm -hmm. What I'm seeing with iPads, and one of the reasons I, I thought the Twit Network should do an iPad show, is that it crosses lines. It is, it's a computer that really, finally, Apple said this for years, is for the rest of us. And people are in, loving it in a way that, that, that they don't traditionally love a computer. And, and I think that even you and I, I mean, our lives are computers. I'm loving it in a way that's completely that different than yeah. the way that I use my laptop, the way that I use my iPhone or any sort of smartphone. And that is why we felt that it deserved its own show. And the thing is, is we've already gotten a lot of questions from folks. Well, if I don't have an iPad, am I going to enjoy the show? I think you will, because not only will we be able to show you kind of what you're missing, but you just get a sense of how people, it's sort of the culture of, of the whole thing, how, how uh, the sort of app revolution um, is different on an iPad than it is pretty much with anything else, at least right now. Yeah. So it's I'm, fun. I'm sure there'll be other tablets. Of course. Um, I'd love to do an Android show and a, a tablet show. But, but really, if you have an iPad, what do you want to know? You want to know what, what apps should I put on my iPad? Right. And, and, that's we, what we're we kinda, about. and we thought about this a little bit beforehand. Should it just be an app show? And that can be can kind of dilute the it's not point just of it a little not, bit. Not, but it's, it's, it's iPad because you have an iPad. It's an if, iPad because you have an iPad. We'll talk, I think from time to time we'll mention iPhone. I think it's important. In fact, I've got an iPhone app that goes with the iPad. Right. Some apps are good on both. Some apps are actually better with iOS 4, which, right. you know, that's that's something that, that the iPad still has to catch up with a little bit. Um, but we kind of felt like, well, if we're adding Android apps in it, you know, the, the whole thing is just let's stay focused. Let's keep it an iPad show. And if everyone disagrees with us, maybe we'll change our minds. But for now, woohoo! So the first thing we're going to do every uh, every day uh, on the show, every week on every the show. Every week. It's weekly not, show. Not yet a daily show. I, I, there's the name, only so many of us. Is uh, talk about uh, a category and yeah. do a survey of apps in that category. Exactly. So today's theme is photo apps. Yay! Woo! Which is, I don't know, anybody who knows me knows that I love I love photo apps. I mean, I'm a big Flickr user. I take a lot of pictures with my phone. I take a lot of pictures with my with my other cameras, um, my flip cam, and a lot of, a lot of fun with that. So uh, photo apps was just kind of a, uh, a no-brainer, and Leo and I both have our favorites. Well, you so, know, the iPhone really started this. Photographers love the iPhone, and a lot of these have migrated very nicely. Well, the, yeah, the I mean, the iPhone 4 is now my it's primary camera. camera. I'm well, I'm going to show you how to use it else. as a camera for your iPad. Stay Ooh, tuned. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. All right, so let's start off with our theme, Photo Ops Today. First theme, this is one of my favorites, and it's called Camera Bag. Camera Bag. Now, this was a, another example of an, uh, was something that was on the iPhone for a long time. It was on the iPhone for a long time. It still is, and it's still, it's a great... Um, it's a great app on the iPhone, but, but it's, it's even better, better yeah. on the iPad. Not only because these pictures are sometimes meant to be seen, you know, they're just kind of meant to be seen full. So let's like, for example, I'll just pull up this really embarrassing photo of me and my parents when I was like four years old in front of a motorcycle. I notice you have a number of old photos. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm an old photo junkie. That's this so is what cute. I do. I know. It's not adorable. I mean, look at that little rat kid. Like, it just, it's so embarrassing. So anyway, okay, so here's my original photo, and, right? And your dad's hog. I, wait, they're just awesome. <laughs> this picture is awesome in so many different ways. But let's say, you know, I look at it and I go, okay, cool original. You know, I scan this with a crappy scanner. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose some of my, my filters. So the idea of a camera bag on the, uh, on the iPhone was you have fake cameras. Like there's a Holga 
which is a very popular yeah, well, plastic. Yeah, well, they call it Helga. And so here that, it's Helga. Yeah, There's so a, this is Lolo, like Lomo. Lomo. Like the whole Lomo cam revolution. So they simulate the If you want to do looks. something like a Polaroid, this is instant. Oh, that's, boy, that looks real. That looks just Isn't like that great? And now what it's doing is it's cropping by default. So if you go like, yeah, well, I don't really like the crop because look, you just cropped out a bunch of that original picture and that's part of the picture. Well, you can turn that off if you want, which is kind of nice too. So you can, you know, that it's sort of, it, you, you have a lot of options with camera bag and some people go like well yeah but don't you only now have the options of all these predetermined filters yeah that's true but if you're not really the kind of person who wants to screw around that much with with look with at that contrast that actually helped the picture a lot. and i know can you that save great? it out now that's one of the issues of the ipad is the the kind of the weird you don't have a file system what happens to those photos they just get saved to your photo album yeah, you save it to your photo album. Okay. You can email it out. You know, for example, here, let's do, let's do, uh, um, if you want to share it. Well, okay, I haven't set up my email on this yet. Yeah, you can email, you can send it to Facebook, kind of okay. the, the simple stuff, which is what I do. One of the nice things, just to mention, that is not available on the iPhone version of this is the this little very button. It's in the lower right-hand corner. So if I just want to go like, hey, let's just kind of play around with the filter that I've already chosen that I like, but I maybe want it just to be a little bit different, I can choose this little very button and it gives me... So it's kind of just sort of plain. It's kind of random. It's kind of it's kind of a random button. So you can go like, I really like this, but just give me something else. That's why I like um, Camera Bag because it's really good for people who, they, you know, you want to make your photos cooler and they will look cooler, but you don't necessarily do all the tinkering yourself. Let me you show know? you my, uh, one of my apps here. Okay. Similar. This is one that's specifically for the iPad. It's called Photo Gene. And... Um, you can take a photo from your photo albums or uh, previous sessions. You know, I'm going to talk about how you get it. <laughs> Look a, at those pictures. Yeah, I'll show you. This is a picture <laughs> of some folks who came by yesterday. This is like a mini Photoshop. You know, you, there is Photoshop.com for the iPad right. or the iPhone. I don't think there's an iPad version. But you see along the bottom, you have a variety of different icons. So you said cropping, for instance. Yeah. You can straighten. Uh, that is important. Yep, because a lot of times pictures are wrong. Especially so you, stuff you take with your iPhone. You can I've rotate, noticed. of course. Uh-huh. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah, and you can completely crop so I can get it to be the size that uh, I want. In this case, this picture had a lot of extra stuff that I, I really don't yeah, want. Yeah, you, wanna, you want the fezzes to be the center right? of the show. So I'm going to crop down to that. Nice. There's this nice uh, family <laughs> this is that a really came nice by. Picture, now, it also has some uh, templates so similarly to uh, the uh, camera bag, I can give it a 20s vintage look. I can give it a 70s vintage look with really heightened colors. That's cool. 40s. Here is a Lomo. Okay. Very so this, similar. This is actually, it's kind of making my camera bag feel a little I, I wasn't trying to do that. No, uh, no, that's okay. It's good to know watch, that we've got other options. Watch, you can turn it into a postage stamp. <laughs> can, can, can it, will it, will it send my mail? <laughs> so I love it. Here's an undo, complete undo on this. It would be nice, wouldn't it, if yeah. it, you could actually put it on a thing? Absolutely. Like, let's go back to the original so we, we can see what else we're doing. You can do some sharpening, which is something people often want to do. These are the basic kinds of things. Some of them some of them are kind of silly uh, effects. It's kind of something between iPhoto and Photoshop, really. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you, you this, a, lot of in, uh, a lot of things you'd want to do with Lightroom, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, you could monochrome a picture, although I have to say this is an awfully contrasty. Well, there's too much contrast. Um, I'm not crazy about the black and white conversion of it. There's edge blur. It's not, look, this isn't Photoshop. This right. isn't, this isn't uh, going to replace Photoshop, but it's something that you have in your iPad and has a remarkable number of features, including, by the way, levels. Uh, if you want to uh, adjust the, 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 you know, the brightness, <laughs> that's kind of a silly, let's reset that right now. Um, and a red eye reducer that's very straightforward. You just tap the eye and it automatically fixes the red eye. I love Photogen. Yeah, pretty this nice little application. Do you want some uh, captions? Let's put a caption in here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Make it bigger. <laughs> make it let's there. make this photo busier. Yeah, let's make it really crazy. <laughs> I, whoops. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I love my hat. Period. Return. And uh, let's see. Can you see. make the text bigger? I'm sure you Gosh, can. Gosh, I hope so. <laughs> let's... Uh, there it is. <laughs> there, oh, it'll like auto size yeah, itself. And I can fit. move. I can move this to his <laughs> mouth and and so forth. This is such a Leo app right here. It is. It's kind of dorky. It's, it combines it's so dorky. features that a lot of other apps have, um, but it puts them all into one simple and inexpensive. It's only uh, two dollars and uh, or three dollars and ninety nine cents. Perfect. Photo 
Jean. Camera bag's two ninety nine. For three ninety nine, you kind of get a lot more. They, you know, they've got different feels. Depends what you want. I actually have both. It depends on what you honest. want. Yeah. Sometimes you just want a quick low low. Exactly. <laughs> and then yeah. just do it. You know exactly what you want. Okay, so the next uh the next photo app for the iPad that I love, I'm new to this. It's called Diptych. Now, Diptych with a Y C H is actually it's like this Greek root word that uh, it's you know what it refers to something that's like a triptych, which is three. A diptych is two. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So it's it's become kind of this photo meme. You see a lot of these on Flickr where people have. Um, two or more pictures that they've, they've kind of made into a collage that sort of means something, or maybe it's very random. And Anyway, so let me open up Diptych here, and I'll show you how it works. So first of all, you get a variety of options on how you want your photos to be arranged. So I'll just do this, uh, the two long guys here. So then, at this point, I'm selecting my photos. What do I want to go inside this Diptych? So on the left, I've saved a couple pictures of my grandparents. This when is they the, were young and hot. She looks just like her grandpa. I know. Isn't that great? So I've just, I I've, I've, I've loaded jeans. grandpa is into the lane. Is that the lane side of the family? That's the, that's yeah. the Creffields. That's Creffields. my mom. I can see the jeans. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. The older I get, the more I look like these people. It's bizarre. Yeah. So that's my grandma. Oh, they are adorable. Aren't they something? And I now know. you're making a two, this is a diptych. This is a diptych. So these are two photos that were, I mean, they're beautiful photos, but somewhat unremarkable on Somebody their own. said this is bad. you and Martin Sargent on a party night. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. So so anyway, you know, you can you can zoom in if you wanted something really big. I kind of want it to be normal because this is, you know, this is a nice normal photo, but you've got some options there. Um, at this point, once you've chosen your pictures, you could transform. You could, um, you know, like make a mirror image if, you know, it felt, you know, you wanted to just have, have a little bit of... Um, of control, or you can rotate. I mean, that doesn't really work for this picture, but those are some of the options that you have. So let's say I just want these kind of normal, right? And then I've got a few effects that I can play with. Like, I kind of want my grandma to be a little lighter because the grandpa's picture is a little lighter. And I want them to match each other a little bit better. So I'll bring up her sepia a little bit. So they're a little closer now. So it's the two of them. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm happy with this. And at this point, I can export um, again to my photo album. I can email it to myself, blah, blah, blah. So if you want to see um, some of the, uh, okay, cool. So those are my photos, right? All right. So then if I go back to my photos here. It just saves it out to your uh, your role. Exactly. I just cool. save it out to my role. And then if you want to go to that Flickr photo um, the group. This is what people have done. Yeah. So this is actually a diptych group. The diptych app has a group on Flickr of all sorts of photo examples of stuff that people have done that are a lot oh, cooler than really what I already cool. did. Oh, so that'll really give you cool. a little bit, you know, because it's, it's sort of, it, sometimes with these sorts of things I go, yeah, it's cool, but what's my incentive really? I mean, do I really want to put the effort into doing this? And if you see something like this, you go, oh, I get it. Okay. Right. I've got a little bit more inspiration on how to get creative with, you know, maybe you've got three photos of the half dome and they're kind of, eh. Well, maybe you put them into a, you know, a that's triptych a, that, the and you change the color a little bit. What you just said is exactly, I was, I was looking at an earlier picture. This is kind of, some of these are kind of eh pictures, but when you put them together, they kind of They're really, make you, something good. Yeah, it makes yeah. it really creative and fun. So it's a fun, I, I kind of see it as a fun way to do something with otherwise unremarkable pictures, but if they are already remarkable, then you can just have fun with it. You know, Sarah, one of the problems <laughs> people are probably already thinking is, okay, great, but how am I getting pictures into my iPad to right. work with. If right. it had a camera, some of these apps might make a lot more sense. Exactly. It doesn't yet. I, I have it a feeling is limiting. It it's will. limiting without a camera. But let me show you some ways you can get your pictures in. Obviously, uh, you there is a camera device that you can put in the uh, connector here. Uh, Apple sells it, and mm -hmm. you can put your mm -hmm. flash card into it or like, USB adapter. I think it's like $40. It's 40 though, bucks. So, you a little know, pricey. It's, it's not free. There's also um, the, the free solution, which is to put it in iPhoto on your Mac or PC and then sync it up. Actually, I don't know if you could do it on the PC. But look at this. This is a native application. If you have an iPhone, that will solve that. The iPhone nowadays, let me take a picture of you. The, okay. new, the new iPhone 4 has a really great... Five megapixel camera. Oh, but my camera. hair is just a, such a oh, mess. Oh, it's such a mess. You're not made up for TV. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, you are. Yeah. So let me take that picture. Well. All right. Now that's in my iPhone. It's in my uh, my photo album, the iPhone. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to launch an application on both the iPhone and on the iPad called iPad Photo Transfer App. Now, how are they talking to each other? Just Wi-Fi? 
Uh, yeah, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Okay. And uh, whoops, I gotta launch the the application on here. Okay, there we go. And choose the picture that I want to um, send over, which is of course the picture I just took of you. There we go. That is now selected. And then I say I'm gonna connect to a device here. This is the negative on this. To transfer these photos, you have to enter this address in the receive screen of the other device. That's kind of lame, isn't it? I actually have to put in the IP address of the iPhone, and then it will do the transfer. Now, the, the, the advantage of this is you can be in the field. You don't need to have a computer. You could just use the, the network that you're on, the Wi-Fi network that you're on. Now I'm going to get the photos. Well, why can't it just pull that information automatically, though? You'd think it would, right? So it's a little clunky. It's a little clunky. But you only have to do this once, right? Or do you have to do it every time you launch? You only do it the, to copy the picture over, yeah. and the picture will be right. in, the, in the photo album. I may be on different uh, networks. Let me show you. This is, so that's one way to do it. And uh, that's, I think, a couple of bucks. Here's another interesting application. There have been a couple of applications designed for the iPad to let you take a picture on the iPhone and transfer it to the iPad immediately. And uh, I looked at a couple of them. Most of them aren't very good or don't work very well with the iPhone 4. This one, as quirky and weird as it is, there it is, is a Japanese program called camera a and camera b now you pay 99 cents for camera a and but camera, camera b, b is, is free. free you put it on That's the weird. iphone what, why i don't know if this is going to work if i'm is on camera b networks. does it have a point for free if you didn't buy camera a no okay so it's, so it's 99, 99 cents, cents and you get two apps you okay. get an iphone app uh, but, but they need each other and they need each other okay. and i don't know if this is going to work i think i might be on a different network the idea is you can then point the phone and take a picture of it, but you'll see a live, not super fast, but a live rendition of it on the iPhone, connected. So next, select mode, camera. Let's see if this is going to work. So now, there it is. That's you. Oh, my. Except you're upside down. Why am I upside down? Well, I turned the phone upside down. Oh, I see. There you go. Okay. And okay, so now, <laughs> this is kind of funky. This is, But I'm trying to keep up. I can take a picture. <laughs> this is kind of funky, but I can kinda... take a picture by pointing the camera at you, the, the iPhone at you, and then pressing the snap picture. Oops, that's the wrong one. Here. On. Okay, you ready? Uh -huh. Boom. I press the take picture. Now it's going to take a picture on the iPhone, transfer it over to the iPad, and I, now I can use those other programs to edit it. And Holy it, moly. Now these are three. On the iPhone 4, these are like three mega megabyte pictures they're pretty large so it takes a little while to transfer they're but also if, very nice though but they're good they're good quality you can take good pictures so this is an i mean it's kind of quirky it's kind of weird it's 99 cents there are other camera transfer apps i found that they didn't work well with ios 4 this is the first one. i tried them all yeah i was up I mean, late last it's night. funny uh, some of the folks in the chat room are going like but this is well, why would you ever do this well, just use a, dropbox a, or something but the point is that camera, you can it puts a camera on your ipad right, exactly <laughs> iPad doesn't have a camera. Now it's what it does for 99 cents anyway. There's also a case, you probably saw this, uh, that somebody made that has a camera in it. It doesn't, of course, yet work with the iPhone, but in theory could. Right. I mean, the iPad, in theory could. Right. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So there are our camera apps. We have links to all of them. Where? Where do we put those links? Do we our have somewhere web, yet? Our website, which is not quite live yet, will but be will be very soon. It, it'll be live by the time we actually release the show. Um, will be uh, Twit dot tv slash ipt so like iptv but without the t okay. ipad today ipt so those links will be up um so if we don't have them now you'll definitely subscribe to the show and download it later i know you will so then you can get them at that point now is the time on the show when we cover the latest ipad news that's right you know leo uh, ever since this I, is beautiful. I know. Did ever, Kevin give you that? No, 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 no. He, he tried to give it to me. The Dodo folks <laughs> gave them. Gave yeah, they, they contacted Kevin to contact Although, me. in all honesty, Kevin was the one who made the introduction. So Look at this. You, it's Kevin. like a bamboo case. Yeah, so this is the Dodo case, um, and it's an iPhone, uh, iPad case. Um, that's, Hold it up to the camera there so they can go. see it, because so it looks like a Moleskine. This, that's, exactly, that's exactly what it's modeled after. So this right. is faux leather. Um, and inside, you've got this kind of bamboo casing around the iPad. Is like, I'm sorry, my iPad is so dirty. Um, I'm a dirty bird. But the but the case itself, you can see the bamboo casing. And it's got a little bit of these sort of rubber edges here. Is it is it hard? Um, yeah. Like 
shell? Yeah, it's, it's like a turtle. It's, it's like a it's like a hardcover book. Here, let me just just see. So the idea. Oh, uh, that is hard. Yeah. That's hard as a rock. Well, that's because Actually, I expect you basically a more just give. hit yourself in the face with my iPad. <laughs> I, I expected a little bit more give. No, that really hurt. It's I'm, like it's like a hardcover book, Leo. I that wasn't was kidding. That was actually quite. That was quite painful. <laughs> oh dear. Watch out now. Okay, so this so is Dodo case. This is a Dodo case. Look, it says Ex Libris Sarah Lane. Well, I put that in there. That's but cute. The, the idea is that the Dodo case. Uh, a couple things before we get too far into the dodo case first of all it's 60 bucks it's 59.95 and they're back ordered like six weeks and a lot yeah, of you would he's go got to hand carve these things. exactly a lot of you would go what in the why would i even now you don't you don't have to use the you know it's a I, lucky I, thing i, I was I'm recommending the dodo case to somebody who likes this sort of design yeah uh someone like me now this isn't it doesn't really hold it in very tightly does it it doesn't hold it in very tightly except that what it does well you I mean, you kind of press it in there, and it's it's, it's not going to fall out. But, also, but mostly, you want to do this, right? You want to do this, yeah. or if you know you're walking around, around with it, and you get to a cafe, and you want to can you, you use know, it as a stand on your iPod? Oh, yeah. you can. Okay. So this is the stand that I'm just brings that. it up a little bit. Right? You need the stand feature. Yeah. So you can see that's like there's a little triangle, but then you can also use it as. Let's see if I can. I would not this guy. buy a case at this point, and I would not recommend any else, anybody else buy a case at this point that doesn't have a stand. Yeah. This is. This is pretty awesome. Now, the problem, and the the, the uh, Dota Case folks, um, their website is dotacase.com. They have a pretty um, elaborate fact where they kind of say, listen, on a glass table, this may not work exactly. I mean, you got to be realistic about this. They also say, hey, you know, this is, this is a handcrafted piece of work. You know, they make one at a time. That's why it takes so long to get one, and that's why it's $60. So it's not right for everybody. Um, I should mention that they've got this, these nice little cutouts so you can, That's you can you know, get all your controls while it's still in the case. If you're buying that, you're buying a unique kind of work of art. You are. And they I, also say I use the Marware EcoView Flip. And so I and love that's it. so that's the kind of that's thing that you I can like. throw into a backpack. Yeah, you don't, I don't really care. want to throw anything. Watch this. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. That's another nice feature. So that's I mean that it, it's apples and oranges really. I mean they even say on this you want to treat your Dodo case the way you treat your iPad. You don't want to throw this thing in a backpack. Um, you want to be really nice to it, and that's why I love it. I think it's great for me some of the time. I mean, if I want to look cool, then I, I that I might be using the Dodo case. But for everyday use, I'm not throwing this in my backpack, and that's the way that I usually transport my iPad. So there you have it. Item two, Australian restaurant <laughs> replaces menus with iPads. Yeah, and there's actually a video. It's like some Australian network. Um, it's like a local news station did a story on this restaurant in Australia um, who has replaced menus with iPads. And I, I mean, thought, you actually order, like you don't have to talk to a waiter. You right, just you actually order and you tell them how you want your steak and the whole thing. What do you and you think? can make reservations. Okay, so I'm going to be really honest here. Um, I know this is an iPad show and I know that we're celebrating everything iPad. Just think of the grease on that thing. Think of the grease. <laughs> think of, think of, somebody's going to spill a drink on this. Yeah. Think of the the. the you basically, you got five hundred dollar menus. Five hundred dollar menus that are going to be kind of dirty and disgusting. Well, I, I mean, presume they hose them off. You can't run them through the dish machine. No, and. But it's a gimmick. Do you think people will go to the restaurant because they have the iPad? Menu? I think maybe once I would do that. We're hearing just to about, laugh about hotels it. now where people um, get an iPad when you check in that exactly. tell you activities. And, then, and then, yeah, and you can kind of just do all your booking and sort of it acts like your concierge. Um, I think the idea of an iPad as a menu, um, and oh, and they also say one of one of the big selling points was that you can update your menu so much more easily. You well, don't have true. to have the PDF on the website because we all hate those menu PDFs. Right. But I think I don't know. There's got to be a better way. You just print something out, or you know, I guess if you want to save trees, you just buy a bunch of iPad. It just it, the whole thing is kind of fuzzy logic to me. But I like the idea that people are being creative anyway. Well, I don't know if the restaurants the the end all be all. Restaurants may creative. not be the only people who own iPads. There's a story on Business Insider on who owns iPads, what the demographics of iPad who owners are, are. Who are these people besides us? Uh, if the pre-orders and line crazies were two-thirds male, but the ratio is evening out. So iPad early adopters, 34% female. Currently, iPad owners, 39%. In the U.S., 49%. It's almost 50-50 male female as that far as gender distribution me. that doesn't surprise me at all yeah um japan 20 percent uh, are female hmm. uh funny. yeah hmm. age distribution it really pretty much is 40 year old men who own ipads 
Except for the fifty percent who are women. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're right because the, the 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 headline is who owns the iPad? Forty year old men, but it is the largest group, thirty five to forty four. Twenty eight percent of all owners are in that group. Uh, we talked about older people. Thirteen percent are over fifty five. Eight percent are under twenty. You said your mom has an iPad. My, my, I think older people are a big market for iPads. Well, the thing is, my mom recently, uh, I will not say her age, uh, she recently just got an iPhone. Your mom's she, basically my age, she, we should know. I, I think my mom's a little older, older than you. A little she, I think older. she's about a decade older than you, no, but whatever. So. Okay. Um, and so the whole idea of apps and how that whole sort of operating system works has become familiar enough to her so that she, she saw my knows iPad. How to use it. Each, there's no learning curve if you're at least, you know, you don't necessarily need an iPhone, but the whole touch screen, kind of smartphone, app, way of life, it's easy to, to sort of um, That's nothing to be jump onto at. the iPad bandwagon. No, not at all. Yep. And I think that, um, you know, really, to a lot of people, this is like a big iPhone. It's not a phone, but a lot of the other apps just are cooler. I had a bet with Dvorak and a person in the chat room that there would be 5 million iPads sold in the first year. Already 3 of million have been sold in the first three months, so I think we're going to win that bet. But Dvorak's always wrong about that <laughs> stuff, isn't he? No, you know what? You're usually, if you, in the tech world, if you say something stinks, 90% of the time you're right because most stuff is bad. But in this case, I just had a feeling, and uh, and by the way, there's an analyst now who says, and I, don't, I, I think this is far-fetched, he expects, and he's advising his clients, 25 million iPads will be sold next year. 25 million in year two. Wow. I think that, but it, I mean, three it, in three months is still just... It's a lot. Uh, yeah. If you're asking why why we would dedicate a show to the iPad, that's really the answer. I we mean, think there's going to be a lot of people using right. it. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're, we're, you know, this is a niche show, but hopefully that whole 25 million, uh, you know, it's like you get enough of us together and we want to talk about this great thing that we've got in our little doodle case. You know what my mom's favorite thing is on the iPad? What? She... She came here and I gave her an. I actually said, "Here's an iPad you can try." It was Jennifer's iPad. Here's your iPad you can try. See if you like it. Because you never got you it want, back. I never got it back. <laughs> and she normally she has she's always knitting. She always has knitting in her hands. Uh -huh. She did not knit the whole two weeks she was here. She did one thing and one thing only. She played We Rule. Oh, uh, We Rule, Leo. We and Rule. Now you say that in in a way like, boy, my mom was addicted. But that's all you're doing. When you leave the studio, you we sit outside in the big rule. easy chair and you play your Wii Rule. All right, I'm going to give you a little Wii Rule strategy guide because believe it or not, oh, look, they've added a cheese shop. <laughs> well, you know what's funny? I just I just installed Wii Rule because I want to kind of keep up with you and get some some. Some Wii Rule is available codes? on the iPhone and the iPad. I played it first on the iPhone, which is really a tiny screen. Yeah, it's really great on the iPad because you can zoom in. This is your little world. Notice I have a Twit logo here. Now, I've been playing it long enough. I'm up to level 30, which currently is the top level. And as you expand, well, let me see your let me see your little uh, little farm. Do you have a do you have a little Wii Rule? I've got a little Wii Rule farm. Oh, you didn't put it on the other iPad. You put it on this iPad. Well, I put it on my iPad. Because... Oh, because you're going to play it. Yeah, well, well I feel me, a little... Let me so, give you some hints. Here's, let, here's what my proud little farm looks like oh, so this far. this is so sad. It's, you've got yeah, nothing. no, I, I, I added a farm. See it? So see how the, the little <laughs> castle and the little farm... Yeah. So what happens as you so, play... So now Rural, what do I do? You will, you will make... There's, there's two different metrics that you want to pay attention to. Experience uh -huh. points... Okay. ...and coin and gold. And you need both. Experience points let you level up, up to level 30. You're probably level one or two on that one. I'm level one. And gold will let you buy things to clean up your farm. All right, so I've got zero gold coins right now, so I can't buy anything. Right, so some of the fun of this is actually adding things to your farm. You'll be able to add a number of things. You've, you've got a, it's not really a farm, it's a town. So the, the crop is one thing that you can add. Uh, but you also can add stores of different kinds. Each of them come with their own type of denizen. So, for instance, uh, if you have uh, the griffin net, a nursing area, you see I have a little griffin uh, flying around there. Yes. Um, you see the little witch flying around on her broom? She comes from the Magic Emporium. I like the Magic Emporium. It's very expensive, but it generates a lot of gold when you when you do it. And I'll show you how that works. You also can raise gold by raising crops and harvesting them. And there are some kind of passive investments you can make, like these ruby trees. There's also orange trees that will just grow rubies every six hours you harvest rubies. And they give you, as you'll see, 85 experience points. And Oops. Oh, another thing about We Rule. Is that it crashes? Buggy as hell. 
Now, Leo, can I just ask a a, 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 uh, a question of somebody who may want to get into something like this, but isn't quite sure what she's getting into? Yeah. How time consuming is Not that? Not at all. Because you're king. <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. Not that, at all. That no. is a, that is such a lie. I mean, look at that thing. I mean, this oh, it, it, gives, crashed it gives again. me kind of a I headache. I have too big of a uh, farm. So, first of all, so this is weeks and weeks play. of play. Okay. okay. So, like, how many hours? Well, we not that much because you go in, you I would go in three times a day and harvest the stuff it takes five, a couple of minutes mm -hmm. and then you go back, you go back out. So you don't spend a lot of time. And it doesn't freeze when you're gone. I mean, if you don't go in for a couple of days, no, it's all happening on happen. the server because there's no multitasking. Yeah. Well, let me show you. I'll go out now. I have, because over time they allow you to expand your realms. I have some additional realms. That's another error that you're going to see a lot. Meaningless, low memory. This is, this is, I move my farm off to another realm. So I've got crops planted here. You can harvest the crops quickly. You see, I'm growing cauliflower. Magic cauliflower is a very valuable crop by spending mojo. This is a third factor, and this is how they make money in We Rule, is with the mojo store. The mojo store lets you spend actual dollars for mojo points. And mojo can be used to hasten crops, to hasten harvests, to buy some items. Stay away from the mojo. Look at this, $10 for 75. $30 for 300 Be honest. How much money have you spent on We Rule? I want an honest answer. I want it now. A little bit. <laughs> More than 100 No. Okay. 50 All right. Which is way too much. Sure. So, the, so I, I warn agree. you, the program is free. Do not buy Mojo. Be patient because there's nothing you can't do in time. So, for instance, I used Mojo, four of them, to, heart, to grow my cauliflower. Now I'm going to harvest the cauliflower. And I get, because it's magic cauliflower, I get a lot of coins and a lot of experience from the magic cauliflower. When you get to that level, and you have to get to a certain level to do that, I get 2,000 coins and 350 experience points. Now I can choose another crop. These are all the crops. As you get more levels, you get more choices. Um, and this is where Rerule can, can, you can decide how much time you want to spend on it. If, and I'll show you my spreadsheets in a bit. If you, oh God. if you want to make as much money as possible, you should plant corn. But the problem is you have to harvest it every 45 seconds. Oh, come this on. This is what mom was doing. She leveled up quick. She got a lot of gold. But every 45 seconds, you she had to harvest it. You can't look it. away. You can't go to the right. bathroom. But there's, get a there's five minutes, 20 minutes, an hour and a half, six hours. The, the, the uh, cauliflower is 12 hours. So you don't have to spend all your time doing it. Plant something like cauliflower that's going to come in in 12 hours. Then you don't have to worry. Or magic asparagus, that's also popular. You don't have to worry about when you have to harvest this. I'm going to, every I know six that I'm hours, I'm not I come the right get... target audience for the We Rule type of games, but this to me, this is the reason that I don't clean my kitchen. No, but look, it's my, cute. My physical kitchen in my home. It's cute. It, it's very cute, it's but cute. it's like, it's I can see where it becomes, it, it becomes a monster that you're feeding. I find it very peaceful to wander through my village. Sure. Say hello to my people. And the children are crying. No, and the no. dog has, you know, hasn't been fed. I think the I mean, company that does this. I can barely put my socks on in the morning. <laughs> NG Moco could probably improve it with some real world stuff. Like, for instance, they have a prison. I've got it right here. And stocks. But they don't have any bad guys. It's never night. It's always day. I think it'd be fun to have some seasons. I think there's ways you could make this much more intriguing, and I'm sure that they will in time. So here's my We Rule strategy guide. Okay. First of all, plant farms. You can only plant a new farm every even level. Get as many farms as you can. That's the best way uh, to uh, both experience, level up, and uh, to get coins. You need both. Use that farmland. Yep. I'm opening my uh, numbers spreadsheet here to show you my We Rule numbers. So I took every building that you can build mm -hmm. has a cost. It has the number of gold pieces it generates, the number of experience points, how long it takes to generate them. And then I did the calculation gold per hour and experience per hour. And when you do this calculation, the jewelry store is by far the best thing to have. Gold per hour is 75, experience points per hour 25. There's nothing even close. Magic Emporium's next, then butcher shop and bakery. The passive investments like the ruby tree and orange grove are great to have in those extra areas because one of the things about these special stores is somebody has to shop in them. This is the other key to We Rule. It costs you nothing to visit other people's towns and to buy things from them. Make friends, create a community of other people to buy your We Rule stuff because they are helping you out and you are helping them out. I can go visit some other people's farms and then go buy from them 
It do, again, it doesn't cost me anything to do this. There's my mom. Uh, we've got uh, Tom Merritt's in here. Veronica Belmont. There's Kevin Rose. <laughs> There's OMG Chad. <laughs> He's got a little tiny farm. Let's go look at Chad's little tiny farm. Oh, boy. It's okay, little. this is... Well, so Chad, Chad, but I can buy something from him. I'm going to go somewhere between you and me. I'm going to go to his school, place an order for ten science projects. Cost me nothing. I'll get two hundred points, and he will get two hundred points when it is delivered and seventy experience points. So do that. You can only buy four items at a time. Once you've bought those four items, you'll see there's no more "we're open" signs. Another suggestion: invite friends to play with you, and then a really fun thing to do is to go to the plus area and see who the point leaders are right now because if and then you those are the see, people you want to interact with well these are the people you might want to emulate look at we're going to look at khalifa 67 this guy if we visit his kingdom you'll see oh, it's very four square looking well he has no um i have to say he has no aesthetics he's there he's in it for the money mm -hmm. and you oh, see gosh. here he's just planted a ton of rubies uh -huh. and stores he's got and this is the thing if you want to see how to make money Look at these top level players. But I personally, I have to say, I prefer a little town that I can kind of call my own. I can visit. I can be peaceful. And I and I, and, and if you want to come by for me, I'm Chief Twit. <laughs> and and you're always welcome. I'm the one with the the Ruby Castle right at the end of the lane. Leo, that was a wonderful weave rule strategy guide. <laughs> I'll post those spreadsheets and all the information. There's a lot more to say. <laughs> But just to, don't, don't you feel peaceful? Look at Sarah. See, I've got, yeah. you, you walk up the golden yeah. path to the castle. Yeah, it's peaceful. It's, it's peaceful. peaceful. It's nice. Yeah. It's a pleasant place to be. I, I, I don't know if I'm sold yet, but I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll think about it tonight after I feed my cats and maybe okay. clean my kitchen. Okay, let's wrap this puppy up because we, we do have, uh, we do have uh, another show coming in here. And we people do. are going, what the hell is going on? I know. It, just, Leo gets, you know who he is. He we, likes it, He likes his stuff. You solicited email and you solicited tweets. Yeah, what we want to do, uh, part of the show, is make sure that we have a lot of interaction with all of you guys. So if it's good or bad or anything in between, we want to hear about it. Um, because we like viewers like you. And if you want a Godfinger strategy guide. Exactly. Actually, the next one we're going to do, Plants versus Zombies. Oh, gosh. And Lisa Kensell, who is our CEO and should really be doing other things besides playing Plants versus Zombies, is amazing. And will tell you everything you need to know about this game. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's hear this from our your listeners. Segment. All right. First uh, email from Ian in Perth, Western Australia. Hi, Ian. He says... Hey, uh, you guys, try pressing your lock button, and while holding it down, press your home button on your iPad. The result, the screen flashes white, and you hear a shutter noise. Do you know why the iPad does this? <laughs> Could it be hope for a camera on iPad 2.0? Well, we let me try laugh it. At him. Press the start button. We don't want to laugh at him button, button, because this is a and it flashes, and it makes a question. sound. You know what, what that is. What you're doing, Ian, is you're taking a screenshot of the screen of your iPad. That works on an iPhone as well. It's intentional. It's intentional, and it's actually very helpful at times because every once in a while you'll come across something. You know, I'll see something that's kind of funny in my Twitter stream, and I go, I just want this particular view, and I want to send it to folks or upload it to Twitter so or the, what there's have the, you. So there's the thing I just say. That's the screenshot. That's an actual You know what picture. I use this for? When I have a really good play, let me unlock the, uh, the rotation I can show you. When I have a really good play in Words with Friends, look at this. 102 points. Just three tiles. I saved that baby. That's right. Screenshot that baby. It's your. It's yeah. It's it's the proof. So Ian. <laughs> it's the proof. It's Ian. The we we hope that yeah. I'm good. I'm, I'm good, good, man. I'm good I'm at good. this. Um, so that's intentional. It was an iPhone feature. Yeah. It is a built-in feature. It is not a camera. No. It's a screenshot. We, we'd love for there to be a camera. We hope that there is a camera coming soon, but this isn't it. Um, you know it's gets, also something that you can do on laptops and computers as well. You know who gets credit for that is David Pogue. David really? Pogue was writing an iPad book. Mm -hmm. uh, before the iPad came out, apparently, yeah. and uh, got the final version of the software, and they had taken that out. And David said, "What do you? I use this for all my screenshots. What are you taking that out for?" So they put it back in, and it's the David Pogue feature. That Thank you, David Pogue. You're the best. That's how he Should tells we play it. a voicemail from Keegan in New Mexico? From Keegan in Alamogordo, New Mexico. Play the first half of it anyway. Hi, Leo and Sarah. Um, my question is that. Uh, what do you guys think is going to be in the next iteration of the iPad? Um, I can't really think of, I mean, a front-facing camera most likely, but who knows? So I wanted to hear your guys' opinion on um, 
what you think will be in the next iteration of the iPad. Hmm. He goes on, but th that's pretty much the question. Uh, you know, like we were just saying, I, I, think hope, I hope it's a camera. I don't know. You know, I, I, I originally didn't think front-facing camera, but with FaceTime, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be fun? Maybe. Some people said it'd be an up-the-nose camera because, you, you know, are you going to hold your iPad like this when you're talking well, to people? Same, no, you're going to have it there and it's, it's going to be... the same problem you'd have with your iPhone and nobody seems to be complaining about that too much. I think FaceTime's a gimmick. I don't, I don't use it. I you're, use not a, it. you're not a fan no. of FaceTime? You know, Who I've, wants to I've, do this? I've used it once. Yeah. I've used it once. Everybody's think, used it once. I think if you're dating somebody who lives in another country or otherwise separated from the people you love, like that... You're going to use Sam, Skype. Sam... Um, Mendes commercial, right? Then yeah, but uh, otherwise, um, I hope there's a camera. I, I would prefer um, a higher quality camera. I don't care if it's on the front or the back all that much. Although I guess the back would make more sense. Um, I hope that's in the next iteration. I want iOS. You know 4. what I want? iOS four. We're gonna get that this fall. Apparently, they say November. Yeah. Uh, they don't say it, but that's the leak. That's the idea. And uh, I think the thing that I want the most, and I don't know if it's possible, is the Retina display. The thing that you notice when you go from an iPhone it's to true. an iPad, the bigger screen, but it's 1024 by 768. If they could get the 300, what is it, 326 DPI or pixels per inch on this, that would make this incredible. Incredible. Now, I don't even know if LG, which makes the panels for the iPhone 4, makes one that big. I suspect there are issues with yield and so forth. But if they could put a retina display in here, that would be it for me. That would be it. I don't care about the camera so much. I got a camera. Um... I'd love to. That's I think, a good point. You know, I, I hadn't even really that thought be gorgeous? about that. Yeah, and of I think I think it would also raise the price undoubtedly. But I think the other thing that they ought to do, and they could do this in software, is make. You know, we had to jailbreak this iPad so that we could show you screens from it. Yes, this is a jailbroken iPad, um, which we had to install something called Cydia on. We put Cydia on it, and we put um, a, a, we have a VGA out adapter that captures it. And is there a program that has to run for that VGA out? No. It just feeds it. Right. It just feeds it. Just it just feeds it. Yeah, as long as it is, so, uh, so is installed. Jailbreak, yeah, but what I'd love to see, and Apple could do this. We know they do it because when Steve Jobs did the demo of the iPad, everything on the screen is up on the big screen. Um, the VGA adapter should capture the screen, not just specific applications, and I think that's something they could fix in firmware. Anything else you'd like to see? Um, with, with the two, if we could get both of those. That'd be pretty <laughs> if, good. If we could fix the display and give me a nice camera. Seven megapixels or bigger, uh, I'd be really happy. And I wouldn't ask for anything for another six months. Thanks, Apple, in advance. Um, <laughs> we, we had a video, but since we're running low oh, on time. Oh, let me run it. I, oh, come on. Let okay, me play it. Okay, fine. He gave us a video. We, we encourage you. By the way, this is the first video ever sent to iPad today. Yes. So the only video. Tyler, a.k.a. Kudo Kid. Well, no, we've gotten more. We do? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're just wow. we're just we're we're giving Tyler the kudos. Kudos to you, kid, uh, for being the first one. Hey, Sarah and Leo, Tyler here, aka Kudo Kid. That's my Twitter name as well. K hey, Kudo Kid. K I D. Got my iPad here. Uh, so far, I'm loving it. Just got it yesterday, actually. I'm not really so much an early adopter, but kind of sorta. Uh, really enough. Displaying a tweet right now from Sarah Lane, telling me to contribute to the show and. Uh, that's what I'm doing. So if you guys have any app recommendations besides the normal pleasantries that everybody else has decided to recommend. That's what we're going to do. Or really any hidden little gems in here that I haven't stumbled upon yet. That'd be awesome. I know that with two hosts such as yourself, there's not much to worry about. This is where he starts thing, flattering so us. Okay, we'll cut that off. We don't need flatter. <laughs> that's Thank the you, last Tyler. thing we need. Thanks so much, How Tyler. do people get us videos how do they get us their questions how do they let us know what they want us to ipad at twit.tv is our email address iPad so you can at today ipad today or ipad, iPad? today ipad Sorry, today at twit.tv or if you really want to abbreviate ipt at twit.tv yes too. either one will work so you can send us questions suggestions if you've got theme suggestions for example any of that stuff if you want to see something you're you're not seeing if you think we're doing something terrible whatever just let us know you know we like the feedback you can also you know upload a need? video like tyler did and we just send us the link recommendations because there's a feature we didn't get to today because we're running long yeah our app cap feature we will wear special hats <laughs> and award the app cap of the day or the week or of the year 
to week. our favorite app of the week. We will. We didn't have time for it today. We didn't have time for it today, and that's okay because it's 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 we we've we've said plenty. We said more than enough. We we we've said more than we should. Thanks to Fez Dash O Dash Rama. Fez O Rama made these these app caps. So what we're gonna do? Caps. This is we we we're 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 saying this now. Every week, Leo and I will each crown an app cap award. To a great app. It doesn't Starting have to be a week. theme or anything. It can just be a pointless app. I don't even care. But uh, we need your recommendations. So send us uh, emails to iPadToday at twit.tv. You can also call us and leave us voicemails um, like Keegan from New Mexico did at 757-504 iPad. I'll get better at that, I promise. Say it again. 7575. Yeah. 7575 for iPad. Seven five seventy five seventy five oh. four zero. Oh. <laughs> I knew iPad. <laughs> Google Voice. I just wanted it to say iPad and Google Voice. Seven five seven, which apparently is West for, or um, yeah, Virginia way, Beach. Not a toll free call. Five zero oh four. Yeah. iPad. Yeah. No, just like you said. Yeah. Seventy five seventy five zero oh four iPad. Well, yeah, but you said four zero oh, first okay. time. Oh four. Four zero. Oh. Oh, four. <laughs> Crap. It's the app cap. We're going to do this show. Nuts. I know. The cap is doing something. It's constricting our blood vessels. It is. We're going to do this show every Thursday at 1.30 Pacific time, 4.30 yeah. Eastern time. Today That's, it was like 3 Pacific time. But pay no attention to the time. We will from now on be on time. This was our first show. It was. And you can watch it at live.twit.tv or lest we forget, you can also use the fantastic Twit app by Houdini7. We love Houdini7. Shiftkeysoftware.com. For the iPad, it's 99 cents. It lets you watch Twit, chat with Twit, all on your iPad, 3G or Wi... Wait, wait a minute. Is it 3G or is it just Wi-Fi? I think it's just Wi-Fi. That is the Twit iPad app. So download it. It's your assignment before the next show. I'm Leo Laporte. I'm Sarah Lane. Thank you for joining us on iPad Today. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.